Well, I'm very pleased to be able to welcome to Candu FM a gentleman who's been in the music industry a little while. He's a, a part of a band that makes quite a unique sound. And I'm going to introduce to you Sean Maxwell. Welcome to Candu FM, Sean. Thanks, Pete. It's, it's great to be with you today. And you're part of a band called A Viral Peach. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the viral, to be honest, it comes from where we. Um, when we started this project, which was during COVID and, um, well, viral. And then, and I do like peaches. So um, that's how it kind of came together. Well, we got a band up here, a local band called Silly Peach. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got to make sure I don't mispronounce you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's keep those apart. <laughs> right. so, so Viral Peach started in around about COVID time. Um, yeah. And how did you come up with you, this unique sound, which we'll explain to people? Okay, <clears throat> I, I, I'm going I'm to put this on the back of, of C6 Steve a little bit. Um, I saw um, some bits and pieces, I saw it on Jules, Jules Holland show, and then I looked him up a bit more on YouTube, and I saw he, him using the, these these three and four string cigar box guitars. I, I'll be honest, I didn't, three years ago, <clears throat> I didn't know what they were. So I looked at it, I play a bit of guitar, but I'm more of a drummer. And and I thought, well, hold on, this is this has got three strings. It's got to be easier. <laughs> so so uh, seeing that, I picked that up, started playing. And as you discover an instrument, you know, you start to discover different things about it, different sounds and mixing the different the the the, the notes and chord structures. And and it kind of starts to to it can become interesting. And I, I in our case, I think it did. Uh, and and how many of you in the band are playing uh, cigar box guitars? Well, there's there's two of us um, at the moment. We got uh, Miles on on lead guitar, and he he usually plays. He's more sort of uh, four string cigar box guitar. I tend to stick to the easier three string. If I could play a one string, I probably would. But it's um, I stick to the three string cigar box guitar. It's just the two of us out of the four. Okay, I feel at this point I need to explain, or you can explain to the people what a cigar, how the the cigar box uh, cigar um, guitar came about. Right, so this this goes back um, a couple of hundred years, and uh, to the states, I think it was more sort of related to the the, the deep south, I think, where during um, certain recessions and time of, of poverty, pe- instruments weren't readily available to people. And uh, uh, or if they were, they were not necessarily affordable. So, you know, what, what happens in these most people want to create music. They find a way to create music. And this was the beginning of, of, of this sort of maybe genre of the blues. It's more blues orientated. That's how it evolved through. Um, there were often one string, um, the old uh, narrative of of the guy, uh, the young kid who who nicked his mom's broom, took the head off, put some strings on, made some music, and I think he got a good hiding for doing that at the time. But but he was making music. It went on, you know. People would discard uh, the cigar boxes when they were finished with them. Um, now you've got to pay for them on on eBay, etc. And people created um, in- instruments. And and they're really simple instruments yeah, at, at the heart of them, and and it, it just allowed people who couldn't afford to buy, let's say, proper, you know, your Fenders, your Gibsons, they they could create something and make it in their in their backyard, and they could make music. That's kind of how the whole thing thing evolved. So basically, you've got a cigar box which is acting as the uh, resonance chamber. Mm-hmm. And you've got um, a, a piece of wood or a broom handle acting as your uh, your your fret, upon which you can then um, put your strings, however many you want, and you can create a sound that is unique to that particular instrument. Well, you you can. I mean, well, I have to say, um, our, our our neck on our, on both Mars and my guitars, they're made by Nigel, a guy who's out near Kings Lynn. Um, and he make he makes these 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 instruments, but he so he creates not necessarily a broom handle neck, but he creates a neck, a homemade neck. It's, it's kind of got to be in that vein. I think if we put a, a fender neck or a, an Epiphone neck or something on it, it wouldn't quite be the same. So so no, so we've we, it's, it's kind of homemade 
um, in its in itself. So, and, and yes, it's it is the the cigar box itself is the resonance, but it, the, that's where the pickups and the electronics go into anyway. Um, and then yeah, it goes goes through from there into some some sort of effect, and uh, and then we make the noise from there. Well, we're going to play some music in a little while, but you've been busy since you were formed. As a relatively yeah. new band, you have been very busy touring almost the world. Well, not not busy enough, um, I have to say. <laughs> <It's always laughs> I, I get that. Be, it's always be always be busy. But no, we, we have we've played around. I mean, our music's played. Um, I know our music's played uh, in in various countries around the world as well. So it's pretty. Um, it's it's kind of exciting, you know, and and I think we've got a, a slightly unique side to us. Um, our focus is really really looking at festivals, and <clears throat> I come from South Africa, and I'd love to go back to take the boys and let's go back, go to South Africa and and do a couple of gigs, um, Cape Town, Johannesburg, Durban, sort of thing, and um, and I think I think um, I don't want to use shouldn't use the word educate, but. But you know, spread the word on on the cigar box guitar world. I mean that, that because it's so different, and it should be ab- available to to all. Our, our kids come over, and the, my kids come over, and I give them that, and they, they they play something. You know, it doesn't matter what they play; they can they feel that they can they can um, uh, they feel comfortable with with the with the cigar box because it's such an easy instrument to play. So yes, <clears throat> we've um, we've done a few gigs this year. We've we've got we have a, a few gigs. Um, there's there's one or two I don't want to say at the moment because uh, they're not phoned into into Europe. There's a couple of interesting ones we're looking at. So yeah, but hopefully we're going to have have a lot of fun in 23 and 24 and 25 and beyond. So, so um, have you got anything lined up in the UK in the, in this over this summer? We got we got a few local local festivals. Um, I think the first one coming up is one actually in Peterborough. Peterborough's got the Willow Fest. They've got about four or five stages, and and we're we're up, up on the Saturday night. It's nine twenty at the Willow Festival on the Saturday night, and we're going to uh, kick some butt on um, on on Saturday night. Now we're going to we, we you see what we've got. Just to say we in 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 our I suppose portfolio of music, our songs. We've got a variety. So we've got we've got some, and we, we we're busy doing the, the second recording, the second album at the moment. So we've got some songs that are more um, uh, to a wider a wider audience. We've got some more blues rock songs, and we've got one or two polite songs. Let's call them that, you know. So so just for variety. So you know, and and I'll be honest, it's whatever comes to mind on the day when when writing a song. You know, I, I don't know if anybody sits down unless they've got a theme to write to. Um, we, we go and we just create, and when we create, what comes out comes out. And if we feel it's good enough, we we we, we run with it, and that's what what we what what we do. <clears throat> Excellent. So, so, so Cambridge area is really um, uh, quite um, lucky to have uh, you and uh, and the rest of uh, Viral Peach performing for them. Well, we'd like you to write and tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if ever you get to the privilege of coming up to uh, the beautiful Cumbria and uh, the, the Lake District, uh, make sure you uh, let me know. We'll get you in the studio and we'll get you guys to perform live for us. We'd love to do that. I really would love that. Uh, and I tell you what, there's a blues festival up um, the, Lake, the Lake District way that we, we are trying to get hold of. There's a specific blues festival we want to get involved with. So. Yeah, there is lots of festivals up mm. here, um, increasing yeah. numbers. Um, and um, uh, even some of the pubs are putting on um, uh, festivals up here. So yeah. there's well, lots of opportunities. I tell you what, things are evolving in a very positive way again. COVID was a nightmare for us, for everybody, you know, all, all musers, I think, um, from a live performance. Because we guess it's one thing recording. And I know it's a bit cliche saying we like to perform, but it's true, we do. You know, get out there and just put a bit of yourself across to to people who've come to to watch your music and listen to your music. That's it's great. The studio, fantastic. That's where you can be a little creative and you go back and redo stuff. You don't do that on stage. You go, something happens, you keep going, you make it, <laughs> you fix it and make it happen. Yeah. So performing live is 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 I know all the guys do, and I, I know there's tons of musicians 
who who like like to do the same. <clears throat> yeah. So you had an album out last year. It was last year, end of year before, I think. Yeah. End of year before. So bought the first one's called Filthy Dirty. Yeah. Filthy Dirty because no one's regretted calling it that, but filthy dirty because of the sound of some of the guitars. That's what it's based around. Because yep. they are kind of dirty sounding in some of them, you know, that's sort of not not necessarily the prettiest sounding in some some ways. So there's some that's where the filthy dirty came from, was from the cigar box guitar. So sort of, that sort of bit of distortion bluesy sound. So <clears throat> it was called that. The next album, I'll tell you, and I hope I stick to this, is called Driving to Mars. So um, <clears throat> um we've got We've got a song that we've recorded and mastered um, and mixed. So that, that's, oh, by the way, I should tell you, um, it's mixed and mastered by an old school friend of mine who is, who is who lives in Fisher Cape Town. And his name is Paris Zanus. And Paris, we send him the stuff because you can do that now. You know, just send him all the tracks. He pulls them all together, mixes. We like the mix. He masters sends it back as a final master. So the first album was, was mixed, mastered in, in South Africa. The artwork, just because, was done by my brother Craig in, in, in Johannesburg, So because he's, he's the creative one in the family. So he does our artwork for us. Um, so it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a all, over, all over the place kind of thing. So um, we, we try to share the love a little bit. Brilliant, brilliant. Now, would you like to introduce to our listeners your uh, latest single that you've released? Yeah, we released it what a week and a half ago, um, and it's uh, been pretty well received on the streaming services, which is great. And um, we thank everyone for for having a listen. Um, the song is called "Rain," and you're hearing it first here on Candu FM. Thanks ever so much, Sean. All the best with uh, the progress of Viral Peach, and keep me in touch with what's happening in your uh, your next steps. We will be appreciate you, appreciate you taking the time to to have us on. 